For this next step, we need to build a network of streets and the, the street or Madison roads layer or shapefile or geodatabase file is not uh, adequate enough. It, it needs uh, some additional information uh, that GIS needs in order to recognize it as a network. Now, go ahead and open the ARC catalog program. You can see I have it open here. This is the standalone ARC catalog. It's the kind of cleanest, most efficient space to do this in. Um, because it, it requires a couple of steps that are a bit problematic in ArcGIS Pro and ArcMap because of how you have to kind of juggle files around. The first thing we need to do is browse to our Madison Roads file. And I'm going to right click and then I'm going to export to shapefile single. So this may put feature, I'm going to browse to put it where I want to put it. I'm going to put it in my process vector folder. I'm going to call it network roads one. And so let me go back up one. I just want to, this is where I'm going to put the file and then the output uh, feature class. I want to call it networks roads one and everything else. I'm just going to leave the same because I really just need the geometry of the lines and I'm going to click OK. So it'll take a little bit of time, and then when it's finished, uh, I need to go up to where I saved it, refresh my folder so I can see that it shows up. There it is, Network Roads 1. Now, I do this because I've had problems in the past, um, and I'm just going to show you. If I click Madison Roads here and right-click, I can't build a road network data set. And this is one of those things where, for some reason, the tool at this level really works with shapefiles because if, if I go back up here and click the shapefile and right click you can see I now have the option to create a new network data set. Um, I'm not going to get into all the nuances of why or why that is or shouldn't be but it's just the way it works and so we're going to click and say new network data set. Now it's going to be network roads one underscore nd so that's kind of giving it the designation of network data set. We're going to click next and do you want to model turns on this network? I just leave it to the default. Uh, we're going to do it for, this is for walkability. And we click next. Um, we're going to just leave the connectivity alone for now. So we'll just click next. Uh, you can add elevation. So if like people might avoid walking straight up steep roads and go around other roads. So you can kind of add this as like a friction surface. But Madison's really flat. So we're going to just say, nope. We're going to leave that as none. We're not going to do elevation and click next. Um, specify the attribute of the network data sets. We're going to leave this alone, but essentially you could add cost values to length of blocks or if it's one way uh, for cars in particular or bikes. Uh, but in our case, we're just going to click next. We're going to leave them for now and we'll deal with them later. Um, our travel mode is going to be walking. And so I'm just going to add that. And then we can say walking, or uh, we'll call it walk, okay. Uh, and then we can say the type here is walk, and length, you can change the length impedance, but I'm just gonna do length and feet. Um, and admittedly, this is geared towards cars, so we're gonna say, you know what, if you're walking, you can do U-turns at junctions, that's, so that's not a problem. Um, and then we're gonna just turn off the restrictions of one way, because our, uh, we do have some assumptions in this, but our assumption is that people, if there are sidewalks, can walk up and down both sides of the street, no matter which way the traffic is going. And so we'll say, check that and go next. Do you want to establish driving directions? No, we do not. And click next. And then this kind of gives you your readout of what all your settings are. And we'll click finish. And then it says, do you want to build it now? We'll say yes. And this will take a little bit of time. But what we'll end up with then is a network data set for Madison that we can look at and the software can see in terms of how people walk where. Now, one of the big assumptions of this method is that we can, you know, we're basing it off of street center lines. Every street has a sidewalk or a place for people to walk. And we know that's not true, but that's the level of data we have. So at least it'll give us a first broad brush look at 
areas that are accessible to these bus stops that we're going to be looking at. So that is how we create our network data set and it's there now. And so uh, we're done in ARC catalog and that concludes this video. Thanks.